The final draft of their action plan is due in February. At that time, I uh, $50 million to begin the implementation of the 10-year plan for cleanup of the river. I regard that down payment by the federal government as exquisitely important. And if I may give you a uh, model that I'm working off of, let's see if we can make it work. It took us half a dozen years to get through the Congress a bill that would give money to the metro system here. We finally got through a bill that gives 1.5, authorizes $1.5 billion over a 10 year period, $150 million per year by each of the three jurisdictions. And isn't it interesting? These are the same three jurisdictions uh, that are involved in the cleanup. We give 150 million, each of them gives 50 million each a year. And if anybody defaults, you can bet your bottom dollar that nobody sitting on our committee is gonna come forward and say, give the district $150 million if Maryland hasn't contributed its $50 million, or the district, or Virginia. Sorry they couldn't do it this time. Well, you know what? Nobody can do it this time. The federal government can't do it this time. But we have got to go back next appropriation for another $150 million. I say to my district people, don't even think about it. I will not even ask for $150 million if I have to go up and say, well, the district couldn't afford it this year. All right. Uh, I ask you to help me think through something comparable on the Anacostia. I want, this is modest, I'm, begin, I'm beginning with $50 million, and that's out of a lot of negotiations within the committee. This money is very rationed. Um, this is not anything but a down payment. But it's an attempt to see whether or not we can use funds to hook in the other actors who are responsible. The federal government, in my judgment, and out of the hearings we have had, contributes disproportionately to the problems of the Anacostia River. After all, it is the federal government that lines the Anacostia River. But frankly, we're at the bottom. The stuff comes down from Maryland <laughs> my friend, <laughs> all that non-point source comes down, and there we are. Uh, but look, it's not as if we're sitting over here doing nothing. Our mere victims, the District of Columbia has just passed them an important bill. Where are the rest of you? The bill for plastic bags doesn't come at an opportune time. But we're saying to people, five cents per bag. And we've tried to tool up so that people are not um, disproportionately in jeopardy. But people are complaining already uh, about, about the five cents per bag. And for many people, there's reasons to complain. But will it change behavior? <laughs> the more you have reasons to complain, the more it, it will change behavior. Yeah, it's painful for some people. And we've taken pains to see that there are bags, free bags, available to people for whom there, there would be pain. I am having a much tougher, uh, I'm, and I, I ask for your help, uh, I am having a much tougher um, uh, road, if I may use that for, for the TNI committee, to, to travel on um, our reauthorized, reauthorized bill. We've had a hell of a time getting the bill out at all. The bill was due out last year. Um, we approached the committee with a very important, we believe is very important, a way to in fact um, do highways that captures the water rather than siphons it into the river and into the bay. Uh, and we've gotten some pushback. Not because people don't want to do that, 
but because this is a bill for the entire country and each of these jurisdictions have their own ideas about how they want to do roads and for them the more roads the better. Uh, forget um, runoff and what it does not only to our river and our bay uh, but to the environment around each and every one of them. Uh, so what we need, so we, we tried an approach that was a, a um, the only thing that I think will get a change and buy in by all concern, uh, which, was, which was one that uh, was, was hooked to how to get the money. Uh, and the committee looked at it, has not rejected it, uh, but because it, it would involve uh, making sure that those who are involved in the problem help pay for it, uh, we have gotten some pushback on how to deal with the runoff from laying of roads around the country. This is an example of hard problems that confront us in the TNI committee. Very large committee, very bipartisan committee, even on environmental matters, we're able to get most things done. My uh, uh, own subcommittee, I'm not the chair of that subcommittee, but I am a senior member of the Water Resources Subcommittee. Very good committee. People who get on that subcommittee are particularly committed to the environment. Uh, but in a real sense, we face precisely what we face in every other area, in healthcare and, and in, God help us, uh, the economy. We face uh, people looking for a way to do the right thing without paying any money for it. You know one of the things we need you to help us do? We have spent now more than a generation educating the American people about free lunch, and they have bought it. That if in fact you have to pay for something out of taxpayer money, there's something wrong with that picture. So that uh, we, we confront uh, what our ancestors, our forefathers did not, did not confront, an unwillingness to understand that the only people who can pay for clean up the bay, the only people who can help us clean up the Anacostia are us. And there's really nobody, I mean, I tell you, you're not gonna do a partnership with the business community to clean up the bay. You can't do it like a road that you know you pay on the road, uh, as we're trying to do to keep people off the roads. Uh, it can't do it that way. This is the most basic kind of infrastructure work. And infrastructure, my friends, seems not to apply nearly as much to water as it does to roads. Why is the Water Resources Committee in the TNI Committee in the first place? Why is it so much harder to get funds to clean up the Anacostia River, which means a basic infrastructure restructuring of the way in which stormwater is collected there? Why is it so much easier to pave a new, yet, a new, yet another Pennsylvania Avenue and impossible to make people understand that that stormwater runoff is perilous to their health, perilous to the Anacostia, where nobody even, would even think of swimming, and utterly destructive uh, of the bay. So you have a huge appropriation that goes out each year, each, each three years, uh, for roads and transit, uh, and a pitiable amount that, in fact, goes out for WERDA, the Water Resources Development Act. 